In today's video, we're taking a look at how to install and set up the Victron Energy Smart Battery Sense, easy and simple. It's so easy, anyone could do everything that we use on the video, we're gonna leave a link on the description. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe, that does help us out a lot, thank you. So you woke up today and noticed that the temperatures are going down, or even going up. And even though your Victron MPPT does have an internal temperature sensor, you wanna get the most accurate reading, and that is right on your battery. Don't worry, here at the Statterbox team, we've got your back. A bike ride away, but a back is a back. In our particular case, we have two eco worthy 12 volts 280 amp hour battery connected in series to make a 24 volt system if you want to check out that video we'll leave a link on the description and this particular model only has over temperature protection but not low temperature protection that's why protecting your investment is the way to go and even though according to the manufacturer you're able to discharge your battery safely and without damage up to negative 4 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 20 Celsius in the case of charging, that is a different story. The battery temperature range for charging should be at a minimum of 32 degrees Fahrenheit to a maximum of 131 degrees Fahrenheit, which is zero Celsius to a maximum of 55 degrees Celsius. So this particular sensor has a working operating voltage from eight volts to 60 volts. So that means that according to the manufacturer, it can work with your 12 volt system, 24 volt system, or 48 volts system. It does connect via Bluetooth, meaning it could connect via the VE smart network and give information to your MPPT about your battery's current temperature. We do have an inline fuse on the positive wire. We don't have a display, but we have two LED indicators, one for error code and one for Bluetooth. And now that we filled your brain with data, we're ready for the next step. And that is the install. Because the last thing you want on a clear sunny day is to die or have the smell barbecue on non barbecue day the first thing that we want to do is turn off our inverter if we have any switches that provide energy to the inverter we want to go ahead and turn that off next we want to turn off our solar panel or cover them if you have a disconnect switch or a breaker we want to go ahead and turn that off and lastly we want to turn off our charge controller if you have a breaker or switch for that we want to turn that off and remember a pro tip when turning off your system the last one you want to turn off is your charge controller and if you're reconnecting your system the first one you want to turn on is your charge controller this would help protect your system and avoid future headaches in the future and always remember having a Watson to help you out with Watson things is always a good idea and after we have the safety measures out the way the first thing that you want to do is locate your system after you located your system we want to take our negative wire and connect it to the negative terminal of our battery and we chose to connect it directly to the battery because of According to the manufacturer, the smart battery sense should be connected directly to the battery terminals and not to a bus bar. And according to the manufacturer, when installing the Victron smart battery sense, it should be connected to any one of the individual batteries within the bank. Now that we connected our negative wire, we're ready to connect our positive wire on the positive terminal of our battery. And according to the manufacturer, when the device is connected, it has a power consumption in a 12 volt system of one. 1.6 milliamps in a 24 volt system 0.9 milliamps and in a 48 volt system 0.6 milliamps so as you can see is very efficient and now that we wired in our Victron energy smart battery sense you want to make sure that you turn on your system and to get the Victron smart battery sense to be able to read your battery's temperature we want to remove the sticker in back of the device and stick it on that one battery where we connected it and now you've done it you finish the first step your system is all wired up now we're ready for the second step and that is the setup and the software side of the installation you want to open up your Victron app and on the device list on the local side you're gonna see the battery sense on other devices we want to go ahead and click on it you want to have your Bluetooth on your device is going to connect and it usually asks you for a connecting pin which is usually zero 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 or six zeros 
in a row. Once connected, if your device is not updated, it's gonna notify you that an update is ready. We wanna go ahead and press the update button and let it update. We don't wanna leave the app and we wanna stay there until it updates. And in this case, we're going from the current version of V1.11 to the new version of V1.14. Now that our device is updated, we can go ahead and go back in the device. We're gonna see right away it's reading the temperature. In our case, it's 14 degrees Celsius. Also the voltage, we're gonna get a prompt to change our pin. We're gonna leave that for a later moment. We're gonna press our gear icon at the top right. And what this is gonna let us do is set up the VE smart networking. This is going to let your Victron Energy Smart Battery Sense connect to your MPPT. So depending on your system, if you need to create a network or join your current network, you press one of the buttons. In our case, we already have a network. So we're going to join our network. We choose the one on the list. We press OK and let it configure. If in your case, you need to create a network, then you just give it a name and create it. It would be the same steps. Once configured, you're going to see your MPPT or every device on your network on the list. We can go back to our main menu, go to our MPPT, and you should be able to see the current temperature reading now displayed on your MPPT. And as you can see, it does say 16 degrees Celsius. We do have the heater on. And if you haven't changed your low temperature cutoff number, you can always go to the gear icon on your MPPT, then battery, then all the way down, you're gonna see. And you can change the number to your battery's specification. In our case, it's in five Celsius, which is 41 degrees Fahrenheit. According to our battery's manufacturer, it could be set to 32 degrees Fahrenheit, which is equivalent to zero degrees Celsius. And now you've done it. You become a battery sensing machine of any types of temperature in your neighborhood. You can pat yourself on the back for a job well done. Don't forget, if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. That really helps. If you have any questions, place them in the comment section below. Either someone on the Satterbox team or someone on the YouTube community can help you out with an answer. Don't forget to subscribe, follow us on social media. Thank you for watching and here's a link to our latest video.